Open up your mouth and start loving God. Amekuwa mwema kwetu. He's been so faithful to us, so gracious, so long suffering. That is why we are alive this morning. Hallelujah. Every day and every hour, Lord, you are faithful. Every day and every hour, Lord, you remain to be so faithful and trustworthy, Lord. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Fungua kinyo achako, ongea na mungu wa siku hiye leo. Hallelujah. Father, we bless your name. You are faithful, Lord. Yes, Lord, you are faithful. Every day, Lord. Yes, Lord, you are. Every hour, Lord, you are faithful, Lord. Yes, Lord, you are. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Every day, every day, every day, Lord.
you for your presence, oh God. We thank you for your mercies, oh Lord. We thank you for your grace this morning, oh Father. We thank you because you are here to heal, oh God. You are here to save, oh Father. You are here to deliver, oh God. You are here to lift up, oh Jehovah. We worship you, Jesus. Receive, receive, receive all the glory. Receive all the glory, oh Father. We worship you, Jesus. We enthrone you, Jesus, our King. We enthrone you, Jesus, our King. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. Father, we come before the Lord, thanking for who you are and what you do to us, Lord. We thank you even bring us to this your house, Lord. We thank you for everything that you do to us. You are the Lord God that we are even worship more and more, Lord. We thank you for the elders you have given them, given us, Lord. May you bless them always. Remember all the groups in this church. May you bless them all, even when they will come to worship. May they will say and what you lead them to do, Lord. We worship, we worship, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for all the for people who are in the hospital, Lord. May you heal them, who are those to be healed. There are those who cry, Lord. They even don't know who they are, Lord. Bless them and leave the feeling, Lord. Bless even those who are in jail, Lord. You know them all and why they are there, Lord. Those who are there faithfully, Lord, may you let them come out of the church, Lord, that jail, Lord. Bless them all, Lord, even the others who are there. May they know that knowing God is a different, Lord, and they get saved while they are there, Lord. We are praising you and knowing you. You are the only, Lord. Now we say the Lord's Prayer, as he told us to be saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, how be thy name, thy kingdom come. So be, as it is said, Give us this day our daily prayer, prayer and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not temptation, but deliver us from evil. For there is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Praise God. Let us have the children. All the children. Alma sonja imbia ami alma sonja imbia ami alma sonja imbia ami alma sonja imbia ami on the Lord. Amasonja India mi Amasonja India mi Amasonja India mi Amasonja India mi on the Lord Saseni Ai Kona mja kunywa chai Saseni Praise God. Mefuga shule ya mambando. Nani hajafunga? Bando. Ayu sejari. Tafunga. Aya. Kwa wale abawa likuwa boarding. Karibuni. Na sayi nataka mwenye atakuongosa kwa imani ya watoto. Imani ya watoto. Kuja. My name is Nancy Wambui. Na mami ni mungu baba, na nai ni penda na kuchuki ya zambi, na mwana Yesu Kristo, alie kufa kwa ajini ya zambi zangu, na mami ni kuwa ni kitubu, ata nsamehe na njazo na rongu takatifu, na jitolea kumomba daimu. Amen. 
Wow. Apostle of Creed. Apostle of Creed. Hatuna boy. Sawa tu. Haya kuja ni nyenye wawili. Haya mtuambie kila mtu atuambie jina yake then tuongoze. My name is Abigail Njoki. My name is Harriet Wanjiku. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered and approached spirit, crucified and buried, he ascended into hell, on the third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, from there I shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Wow. Let us clap for them. <clears throat> Let us pray. Our God and our Father, this morning we honor you. We give for the glory. We give for the Almighty. You are worthy to be praised, O King of glory. There is no other God like you, my Lord. We thank you, Father, for the gift of our children, my Lord. We want to magnify your holy name, Jehovah God of mercy. For, Lord, to be you, uh, Lord, you have been faithful to them, Jehovah God of mercy. We thank you, Father, for you. You have started them, Jehovah King of glory. When they are in the schools, my Father, you have begun them, Jehovah Lord. Thank you, Father, for the teachers, the Lord, who teach them, Jehovah King of kings, O oh God. And now, my Father, we know the Lord, they have closed their schools, my Lord. May you continue blessing them, Jehovah God. May you continue shower your blessings unto them, Jehovah God of mercy. We want to thank you because of our parents, my Father, who always guide this children, my Father, who will always uh, take care for them, Jehovah God. May you continue blessing them, Jehovah God of mercy. As a time like this, Jehovah God, they are in the holiday, my Father. Be their protector, be their guidance, O King of glory. We want to cover them with the blood of Jesus, O King of glory. Declaring the Lord that, Father, these children, they will be blessed unto you, my God. Declaring the Lord uh, their lives will be good, Jehovah King of glory. May you continue, Jehovah Lord, uh, protecting them, Jehovah King of kings, uh, as they continue with the the holiday Jehovah God. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh my Father. Our God and our Father, we want to take this opportunity, my Father, to declare in the mighty name of Jesus uh, that there is no bloodshed in these children, my Father. We want to them with the blood of Jesus. Uh, we want to declare, my Lord, uh, there is no weapon fashioned against these children, my God. Uh, we prosper to their lives, O King of glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we cancel the spread of the premature death of our children, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, may you bless them, Jehovah. May you protect them, Jehovah, King of glory. We want to remember the young people, Jehovah, Lord. Uh, all the youth, my Father, my Lord. Uh, we want to commit them unto you, my Lord. May you bless them wherever they are, Jehovah God. May you protect them, Jehovah King of glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, you know them in their needs, my Lord. They are those who are in the schools, my Father. Those who are in the secondary schools, my God. Those who are in the colleges and others in the universities, my God. May you bless them, Jehovah. May you protect them in the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we want to remember those who are young people, Jehovah, who have their families, my Lord. And as they are seeking them, they have lost my Lord. May you bless them, Jehovah God. We want to remember all the teachers, my Father, who is going to teach them this morning, Jehovah. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. Give them knowledge, my Father, so the Lord they can be able to teach these children to you according to your will, my Father. And Lord, whenever you do this, all the glories will be yours. And we pray, believe them, trust in Jesus' name. God bless you. To Kibia Kwamandrasa. Church. Now we are going to hear our announcements by Elder Mazenge.
I greet all of you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, church. Our God is good. And all the time, that is his nature, especially now. Uh, my name is Joseph Madenge, and Christ is Lord and Savior of my soul. And this morning, I have the joy of the Lord in my heart for his doing in my life. He has sustained me, and he has done me so many th good things that I, if, if I was to start a... Uh, uh, giving uh, an account of what he has done in my life. I don't even know where I would begin. But above all, he has given me another day to continue confessing of his goodness in the world of the living. And therefore, all of us have come here with the one purpose, to come and, uh, uh, and continue lifting our God and continue touching the hem of his garment because he is good and because we all need him. And uh, I am here to do the announcements and to do the welcoming. I am doing that on behalf of the parish minister, Reverend Francis Joroge, and our congregation, Shapaso and Elder David Donga. And I don't know whether we have visitors in our midst so that we can appreciate them and we can welcome them into this worship service and also into this sanctuary. So in case you are a visitor, please stand on your two feet so that we can uh, appreciate you. Visitors, any visitor? Aha, uh -huh. it appears we do not have visitors in this service, but kindly uh, greet the person sitting next to you, and if possible, know them by their name, and tell them to feel at Jesus' feet. Yes, I hope now we are not strangers to each other. We can have a good fellowship, because you know your neighbor, and your neighbor is going to, be your care, uh, it's going to take good care of you, and even what you have, as long as we shall be in this service. So uh, I have a number of announcements, but I'll do them very fast. So please, I kindly request you to be keen so that you can take that which you feel that you belongs to you. Uh, and I think time is far much gone. Uh, today, we are being led during this service by District Sector 3B in Field B. They are the ones who are leading us in the service. They are doing everything for us today, and therefore let us appreciate them, please. They came into the festival very early, and they were ready to start the service, and therefore they need to be appreciated for that kind of commitment and dedication, and we believe that whenever a district is given an opportunity to serve, uh, they can follow the example of the district sector 3B in field B. They are very punctual. Uh, district prayers are as, as you agreed, so kindly meet where you agreed during your last fellowship. And uh, Monday prayers, tomorrow we are being led by Goshen district, but Monday prayers are for all of us. So kindly, let's all come for the Monday prayers so that uh, we can fellowship together. Uh, today, immediately after Kikuyu service, we are going to have uh, our L LCC meeting. So all those who are members of the LCC, kindly let us meet in the upper hall so that uh, we can have our LCC meeting uh, and we start it punctually. Uh, the Youth Week is starting from tomorrow and therefore from today, we are going to have a uh, Holy Communion at 5. So Kaidre, let us note that we have Holy Communion today at 5. Even if you are not a youth member, you are also invited, you can come so that we can fellowship together in partaking uh, the Lord's table. Uh, I have uh, some letters here to read. The first one is an edict for ordination. There is a, an ordination going on in the dollar right now, so I will read it so that in case somebody has anything, you can latch there and do what is expected of you in case you want to stop that ordination. So, edict for ordination of Reverend Joseph Kariuki Waroe, uh, where the Presbytery of Nairobi South has been satisfied with the progress of the above named Reverend Joseph Kariuki Waroe, Minister of the Gospel, and where the said Presbytery of Nairobi South has adjudged Reverend Joseph Kariuki Waroe to be qualified for the Ministry of the Word and Sacrament, the Presbytery has resolved to proceed with his ordination unless something occur which may reasonably impede it, and the notice is hereby given to all concerned that if any of them has anything to object to in the life or doctrine of the said Leverage Joseph Karyoki Waroe, 
they should convey with their objection to the presbytery, which is to meet at PCA Dadora Parish on 23rd April 2023 at 9am. And if no relevant objection is then made and immediately substantiated, the presbytery shall proceed without delay to ordain the said Leverett Joseph Kariuki Waroi on, 20, on 23rd April 2023 at 9am. And this announcement is from Nairobi South Presbytery, signed by one Leverett John N. Barry with the presbytery crack. Uh, there is another proclamation of marriage from Zimmerman Parish, and I'll read it the way it is. There is a purpose of marriage between Mr. Joseph Karioki Isaac of PCA Zimmerman, residing at Gedurai 45, and Ms. Radia Wajiro Mwangi of PCA Kayore Church. It is desired that the marriage will be solemnized at PCA Zimmerman on Saturday 6th, May 2023 at 11 a.m. And uh, may God bless those who are about to be married in this church, yours in Christ's service, Reverend Peter Getau, who is the parish minister. And uh, I need to inform you here that Lady Wajiro Mwangi is a member of this church, and I don't know whether she is here. Is Lady inside the, in the safe service? Most likely she will come in the other service. Uh, she is also a deacon in this church, and therefore it is good to support her and start with her during that uh, wedding or marriage that will take place on 6th of May at uh, Zimmerman's PCA, and they have extended their invitation to all of us through this beautiful card, so all of us are invited into that wedding. There is another announcement here from... Uh, St. George Hospital. It is uh, from St. George Hospital Eye Checkup that there will be an eye checkup at Agrican Church of Kenya, SEK St. Fr uh, Patrick's Kioi Kayore, tomorrow, Monday, 24th April 2023, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And you also get uh, prescription glasses, reading glasses, student glasses, computer glasses, driving glasses, photochromatic uh, lenses by focal bifocal lenses, multifocal lenses, brook, uh, block lenses, progressive lenses, contact lenses, uh, frame and lenses. So in other words, anything to do with eyeglasses, uh, you'll be taken care of. And they are saying if you suffer from headache, painful eyes, dizziness, and blood vision, you are hereby advised to come for eye checkup. And your sight is very important. So all this it will be done there tomorrow, and the, the registration will be 100 shillings. So kindly let us go there, or let us uh, uh, pass on this information to those who may be having eye problems. And I believe they will be assisted. Uh, there is another letter here from Boys and Girls Brigade. They are inviting parents for a meeting, and all Boys and Girls Brigade parents are requested to attend an, offic an officer's parents meeting uh, today at 9.30 a.m., in one of the classrooms, and therefore I believe this meeting is going to take place today, uh, in the next few uh, minutes, and therefore I believe it's going to happen. There is also another announcement here from Kayore Health Board, which is inviting all parents uh, and the youth for a seminar on 30th of April 2023 from 2 p.m. And uh, the topics will you know, uh, be the topic that will be discussed um, among them: drugs, substance abuse, and addiction, then depression, and they also uh, de delve allowed this contentious topic on LGBTQ. So, for those of you who are parents, especially youth, uh, with the youth uh, in your house, I think this one is going to be a very good eye-opener and a very good moment to interact with somebody who is knowledgeable on those areas. And uh, they are saying during that seminar, they also offer other services like HPV vaccines for girls aged 9 to 15 years. They also give first and second dose, and then there will be COVID-19 vaccination. So there is a whole package 
for us on that day. So kindly let us take advantage of these services that has been brought to us uh, by health board, and I believe they are doing a good job. Uh, there is a Thanksgiving card here from one of us. Uh, this is the family of Porin Waiderero and Geoffrey Mwangi. They are coming to say thank you for the way we supported them when they lost their father. They are from Jericho district, and they have written a very beautiful card here to thank all of us for the way we supported them. And there is also an envelope, a Thanksgiving envelope that is accompanying the card. And uh, we need to confirm that everything has reached, reached us. And I believe they have also been blessed as a result of coming back to say thank you. Finally, there is a letter here, as you are all aware. Last week we had the GA, and there is a message here to the congregation from the office of the General Assembly. And this one, there is no shortcut. I have to read it the way it is. It's not a very long one, but I'll, I'll read it very fast. Message to congregation. Uh, prayable. We, the 146 commissioners and delegates from the 59 presbyteries in the Second General Administration Committee, GSA, GAC of the 23rd General Assembly, meeting at Bantu Africa Resort, Nyeri County, in Kegajo Presbytery from 11th to 14th April 2023, said you Easter greetings. We are grateful to God for enabling us to meet again at such a time of joy at the risen Christ in the apex of our faith. Theme. The guiding theme of this GA was drawn from the book of Agai 1, 5b, which says, give careful thought to your ways. The Bible exposition was read by Dr. Leverett Dr. John Michael Kevoy, a senior lecturer of theology from St. Paul's University. He reminded us all that as a church of Christ, we are all called to participate in the tripartite mandatory mandate of the mission, which includes prophetic mandate that moves us to teach and passing the message of God. That is number one. Number two, priestly mandate that encourages repentance and the sanctification. And number three, kingly mandate that encourages leadership in the society as right and the sword and to fight evil in the society. Among the guests, the GAC was graced by the presence of a number of guests who appeared both physically and virtually. A precision, the GAC observed that the last two years had been very difficult due to economic hardships and general election. Despite this, this GAC was appreciative that members remained steadfast and the selfless in their support to the church. We urge our members not to tire in doing good achievements. The GEC noted with the precision the following achievements that had been realized despite the adverse environment affecting the church. Number one, the church institutions have continually been growing and discharging their mandate, and they therefore urge all our members to support our church institutions. Number two, the church has been active in the mission through media, for example, CAC TV. And number three, the church had several celebrations, among them 100 years since Women's Guild started 40, year, uh, 40 years anniversary of women, of women clergy ordination, and 100 years of, uh, of mission in Eastern region, among others. The church continues to grow and reach new territories since the last GAC. Many churches have been dedicated, outreaches upgraded, parishes and presbyteries have divided, and within the same period, ministers have been trained and ordained. Many more members have been admitted for training as evangelists, tent makers, and as ministers. There has also been increased number of ordained elders and the membership of the church in general. The church, through various bodies, has continued to be committed to reaching out to the needy and the vulnerable in the society. Our hospitality continues to provide world-class health care, and we urge health institutions to continue providing quality health care at affordable rates. Stewardship resources. The GSE urges all leaders and members to be good stewards of what is entrusted to them. All levels of the church must be careful when borrowing and they must follow the laid down procedures in consultation with the Presbyterian Foundation. On the other hand, the church must take a responsibility of ensuring accountable use 
and the management of all financial resources to ensure that the monies are used for light purposes and that proper reporting is done. And environmental stewardship. Having signed uh, on M uh, an, MO an MOU with Carefree, the church urges all members to support the initiative of planting 10 million trees in all our land, both private and institutional. In respect of this, the church shall be observing an environmental Sunday to sensitize on the effect of global warming on every first Saturday of the month of May. Number eight, LGBTQ. As a consistence, as a conscience of society, the church is called to be in the forefront in defining the acceptable societal ethos and the values. PCA church will not keep quiet and watch any legislation for laws that contra contravene the, the acceptable ethos and the values. It is unfortunate that these per perversions are now with us. The recent ruling by the Supreme Court to allow the forming of an association by, the group of, uh, by a group left us shocked. As a church, we make our statement very loudly and clearly that we do not accept that verdict. Therefore, we urge all our members to adhere to sound teaching from our pulpit and the seminars and to remain alert. And these teachings and the groups have infiltrated our learning institutions and the neighborhoods. We therefore must act appropriately against such. Number nine, education. The church shall continue to enhance its support to the church-owned and church-sponsored education institutions. We urge all our members to support our running institutions, both private and the public, and they offer chaplaincy. Ten family values. Uh, the GAC urges members to consider their ways before the Lord, honor the family, and they uphold family values. Be honest, faithful, hard work, love, forgiveness, and, fe and peaceful interpersonal relationships. This will help to raise the next generation that honor and fear the Lord. However, the GAC has noted with a lot of concern that families are going through a lot of challenges that have led to separation, divorce, and killing among others. The GAC urges members to engage in intensive prayer, seek intervention through guidance and counseling services if need be. Number 11, State of the Nation. We are, thankful to God. we are thankful to God that he has held our countries and much has been achieved in terms of development over the period. However, several factors have affected our people negatively. Some of these include drought that has caused famine. This has affected people, livestock, and generally our food security. The cost of living that is quite high as our currencies weakened against the major world currencies. This has made imports and the payments of external debts very expensive. Bad trade, particularly in the North Rift, that has caused death, destruction, and exodus from the area. This has also affected productivity in the area. Number four, political demonstrations that has led to the suffering of many people losing their lives. Businesses and properties, and one of our churches and the school in Kibera burnt down. The GAC appeals for prayer and support and has urged our GIPRC to take charge in teaching and guiding our, our members on political tolerance. Further to that, this GAC urges all churches to observe the GIPRC week in the third week of July. Conclusion. Our prayer from each one, and, uh, sorry, our prayer from each one of us is to be found acceptable at the end of our lives, remembering that much as we are justified and sanctified in this life, we will only be glorified after our labors on earth. We must invest more in the permanent than in the temporary. As a church, we must not lose our flavor at the salt of the earth, nor deem our right at the light of the world. Matthew 5, 13 to 14. And continue to give careful thought to all our ways. May our God bless us. This is signed by Light Leveled Vego Mutahi, who is the moderator of the 23rd GA, and Leveled Dr. Robert Waihenya,
who is the Secretary General, dated 14th April 2023. And I hope that letter was self-explanatory. It is upon each one of us to digest the contents of that letter and act accordingly, because it, uh, the letter is for, to all of us, especially for us who are Presbyterians, and there are some very pertinent issues in that letter, and therefore we need to pray and also to take action, because they say faith without action is dead. Thank you so much. God bless you. In case of anything else, we'll let you know. Thank you for listening to me. following each other. The first reading comes from the book of Deuteronomy 31, starting from verse 1 to 8. Church, praise God. It is time for offering and that's giving. May we stand up and pray together. Thank you, Father, for you have given us this day. May you bless it, O oh dear Master Redeemer. We exalt your holy name, O oh dear Lord, because without you, Father, we cannot make it, O oh dear Redeemer. May Father bless the tithes, offerings, and that's giving, O oh dear Lord. May you continue blessing our jobs and businesses, O oh dear Redeemer, so that we can have something to bring in your house, O oh dear Lord. As we do pray, briefing, and trust in Jesus' name of Nazareth, amen and amen. Most welcome. We're going to hear our readings following each other. The first reading will come from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 31, verses 1 to 8. Deuteronomy, chapter 31, verses uh, 1 to 8. Praise God, church. Praise God again. Uh, our reading comes from the book of Deuteronomy 31, chapter 1, verse 1 to 8. Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 1 to 8. If you are there, we can uh, go together. Then Moses went out and spoke these words to all Israel. I am now 120 years old and I am no longer able to read. The Lord has said to me, you shall not cross the, the Jordan. The Lord your God himself will cross over ahead of you. He will destroy these nations before you and you will take possession of their land. Joshua also will cross over ahead of you. As the Lord said, and the Lord will do to them what he did to Sihon and Og, the kings of the Amorites, who he destroyed along with their land. The Lord will deliver them to you, and you must do to them all that I have commanded you. Be strong, courageous, and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. 
Then Moses summoned Joshua and said to him in the presence of all Israel, Be strong and courageous, for you must go with these people in the land that the Lord with, uh, sorry, with the land that the Lord sold to the forefathers to give them, and you must divide it among them as their inheritance. And the last verse, the Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Uh, my name is Geoffrey Maina. Our second reading comes from the book of Luke, chapter 24, verse 1 to 4. Luke 24, verse 1 to 4. I will take you through um, Caroline Warikia Kinyali and born again. If we are there, we can continue. On the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the women took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. Verse 4 and the last, while they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. That's our reading. Thank you very much for reading us. And then we're going to stand and sing hymn number 91, as we call the preacher. Praise and worship. My faith has found a rest in praise, not in a doom of grief. I, I trust the ever one, his rule for me shall breathe. I need no So I come to him, he never cast me out. I need no other argument, I need no other plea. It is in our blood Jesus died, and that he died for me. My heart is winning on the through his blood. I need no other argument. I need no other plea. It is in our God Jesus died and that he died for me. My great physician in the sea, the lost he came to For me, his life is gained. I need no other argument. I need no other plea. It is in our that Jesus died, and that he died for me. Kanisa plays the Lord this morning. God is good and all the time. And that is his nature. Wow. May you take your seats. This morning, I am Esther Wangoi Maina, 
born again and my strength comes from Psalm 46 verse 1 and 2 that the Lord is my refuge and my nearest help in time of trouble. That is where my strength has come from. I love you this morning. I want to take this opportunity to thank the church, the readership of this Kayore PCA session through Leverett Joroge and our chairman and the readership of the church for giving my district an opportunity to come and share with us the word of God. And I hope we shall all be blessed. Praise the Lord. Uh, we have a family. I am a family woman married to Mr. Maina Monene, who is not with us today, and a family of many children, a glad mother, and looking forward to be a great grandmother. Praise be to God. And the Lord has remained faithful, regardless of what has happened. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. I did not know I would start again and confess of the goodness of the Lord. But the Bible continues to persuade me. For he died for me. He died and he has risen. Glory be to God. Amen. Receive greetings from that big family of Maina. None of them is with us today. But they love the church. And because of unavoidable circumstances, they are not with us. Do we receive their greetings? Let us pray for the word. This morning, Lord, we bow before your throne of grace. And we know you are just about to break the blood of life for us. How we pray, my Father, that you meet our quench of the word according to your will in heaven. For this is a prayer of faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. When our elder came and said, it is district sector 3B, and we are many, by the way. Sector 3B in field B family start and wave the church. I can see all of you here, Flaunt and Uko. Sector 3B, there we are. Simua Sarimia, too. Thank you very much, and may the Lord bless us. Our district is headed by Elder Esther Kimani. She is with us today. We bless the Lord for her. She is the team leader of Sector 3B in Field B. We have deacons. We bless God for that. I happen to be a deacon there too. And I love serving the Lord. For he serves his people without reservation all the time. Hallelujah. And our, our leading word came from the book of Revelation chapter number 1 and verse 18. That the Lord is not dead. He has listened. We have, led, we have been led our two readings very well by Jeffrey and Carol from the book of Deuteronomy 31 and Luke 24. And the theme today is assured hope in Jesus. Hallelujah. We are living in very funny days, very risky days. Maisha ya masa, but when maybe no hope in generations. But in Jesus, there is hope. And I want us to go through the word of God. And uh, when we read about Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy is a very interesting book. Go read it from chapter 1 to the end. It takes you through the life of Israel and do's and don'ts. We also have our homes. We have our businesses. We have our schools. We have regulations. We have policies in our organizations. There are rules of do's and don'ts. A letter has been just been led from GA, the, what the church is supposed to do and what we are not supposed to do. Praise be to God. And during this time, Moses had aged 120 years. We are not two years. And maybe after talking to the Lord, he was commanded, go call people, do a transition, tell people you are now handing them over. It is important to hand over. Whatever you do, if you are a mother, hand over to your daughters. If you are a father, hand over to your men so that there is no, there is no gap in every generation. For continuity of life, even in the church, when we retire elders, we are given others. 
there is, it is important for handing over. And when Moses was of age, he was told to hand over to Joshua. And Joshua, when we read about Joshua, Joshua was like, hmm, Nitaweza, because he knew the rebellion of the children of Israel. He had seen how Moses was struggling with them. Sometimes they were not even interested in this God who had taken forever to save them from Egypt. And when Moses told Joshua take over, Joshua was given some tips. There are tips in life that you are taught in every generation. When you become a mother, you now behave like a mother. When you are a girl, feel good, feel nice. It's good to be young. When you are glad mother, it is a clown. Feel good. Don't shy off in every step that the Lord gives you. This time, when because Moses had stayed with in leadership for a long time, he realized Joshua was like he was not courageous and he was like, will I be able? And he told him, he warned him, be courageous, be strong. You must be a strong reader. You must be a strong parent. When children are saying, I don't want to get married, ask them why, share with them, get to know why they are not interested so that you can, you can start as the church has just told us to do. Hallelujah. Are we reading from the same scripts? Tuko pamoja? Are we there? It is important to know what is the age of what so that you can guide accordingly. Of course, you cannot take a, a PP2 girl and ta start telling her, get prepared to get married. There is time for everything according to Ecclesiastes. And it is important for us to know what the seasons are and what the times are. Hallelujah. Do not be overtaken by events. Nature will not forgive you. Glory be to God. And this morning, when, when Moses was handing over to Joshua, the children of Israel, I'm so sure, some of them were worried. And they, were, they thought maybe he will favor his tribe, he will favor his house, he will favor this and that. But that was not so. He was told, be strong, be courageous. When you are in readership, be fair. Do not, without fear, without favor, do what you have been called to do. Even in the church, when we are doing, when the church is not doing the right things, be courageous. Come, these men, uh, these men and women of God, the elders, they are there. You can, that is why you have been given a representative of eldership in your homes, at your area, so that you can echo what you think is not right. And through them, we shall know and we grow the church together. Uzikae nyuma na kusema, uhoro wakani dhani uriene, the owners are us. All of us here, ama niaje chairman, secretary niaje, that he says it is true. Let us know how our church is. They would not know everything. They would not know what you know. We are gifted differently. Let us come to them through our district so that we can grow our church and we can make this church a, a better church, an upper church, a church where you feel when preachers are preaching, you can clap, you can say hallelujah without limitation, you can say amen. Some people say, when we were at the Mabati church, kwani amukutaka to grow, you did not want us to, 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 to establish. We have established now, we are in a, in a, in a now church. What is happening? We still carry cold hearts. Why? We want to know. And we can only know from the feedback that we get from our members. True or not true? Hallelujah. How many of us have been saying, Kama fatikari naroho, what is here? Holy Spirit is not here. Where has the Holy Spirit gone? If you chase the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit is very gentle. You welcome me, I come. You chase me out, I go. 
So it is my responsibility. It is your responsibility to hand over the issues. Lose them that deny you from praising the way you used to praise in 2010 because you are the same person. Nothing really has changed. And we are not 120 years like Moses that we cannot jump high. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are as young as you believe. Praise be to God. And this is why it is important that even today, when Jesus has resurrected, there are so many things that must resurrect in us, in our Christian lives. So many things must resurrect. And one of them, it is trusting in the Lord. Trusting in the Lord as if there is nothing else in this world. If I tell you how I feel, and I still feel, I, 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 I force myself to trust in this Lord. I lost my son this year, January. But that has not limited me from loving the King of Kings. Crying is at night, but joy has come. Hallelujah. Many of you may wonder, and she's able to start, it is not by might, nor by power, but by the Spirit of God. And that is where I am. Hallelujah. It is hard, yes. I believe it is very hard. The situations we are in, they are very, very intimidating. We are in very, very trying times. But let me tell you, just like a small child, goes to a swimming pool, uses something to float, you must float over the issues. These issues can make us sink. And if we sink, the Lord, we shall be accountable of what we did with the times the Lord gave us. Hallelujah. Let us behave like these women we have led in Luke chapter 24 in the morning. They were going to where Jesus had been raised. And I, I can imagine the conversation. Tunaenda sasa kumpaka mafuta, tutapata muokozi, sijui nini. They must have been a registered woman's guild women. They were strong women. You must be strong. Hallelujah. You must be strong. You must be strong. So that when, when things come that are not sober, when things are not sober, when you think you are not even sober yourself, you float over the events and these events will not overcome you. You overcome them by the blood of Jesus. And when these women were going, of course, Mama Brian and Mama Mwingine, eh, to Kipata Yesu, me, I will kiss him. And are you mad? How do you kiss a dead person? And maybe one of them was saying, when I will see Christ, me, it will not matter. I will hug him. I will kiss him. I will refuse to leave him forever because he is the meaning of my life. Because when Christ had died, when you read the Bible very well, even the governor of that place, he had ordered men because these disciples can come and steal the body of Christ and lie to us that he has resurrected. He had put some guards, but the guards, they did not they did not deny our heavenly father from giving us back hope again through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. They were left there. They were left wondering. And when they heard people saying that he is not in the grave, they were asking themselves, Adipiti Awapi, with AK-47, 24 hours, standing there that he will not wake up. He will not be stolen by the disciples. And because of the power of the most high God, Jesus rose again. Hallelujah. And even when these two women went there, they looked at the grave and they said, Allah, Kwani, he is not there. Where is he? Kube, he had risen. They looked at the grave and the big stone that had been placed on top of the grave so that even if this Jesus was how strong he would not wake up, it had been removed. Hallelujah. There are stones in our lives that they are so hard. Some are generational curses. 
some are generational poverty some are utter, they do, they do not have names some are very severe marriage lives let me tell you today it does not matter who has designed the stone it has been removed and liberty has come hallelujah we are living in liberty we are free and free indeed hey how many of us feel free the way i feel free we are free we are we cannot be held by the situations but for you to be free for me to be free there are some stones that are owned personal owning like the way you own an atm you know that card you are the one who knows the pin but if you share the pin number with another person at i am pesa pesa can go sindio these stones of hatred you must remove them hallelujah the stone of limitation ikwetu hatuwezi tajirika tuwezi edesha magari they belong to you remove the stone of limitation hallelujah remove it remove at in our family no one has ever gone to university your children are the ones that will break the break that is stagnation in education in the mighty name of Jesus but you have a responsibility you must remove the stone so many of us here we hold a stone of jealous you do not want to see Esther minus smart you don't want to see her driving a, a big car why remove the stone of jealousy and god shall bless you hallelujah some of these things we purchase them we pocket them we walk with them you look at me you don't want to see you look wow hallelujah remove the stone of jealous remove the stone of cutting people legs you don't want a deacon smarter than you remove the stone hallelujah let people serve the most high god because every elder every deacon every member you shall be rewarded according to your works not according to the works of elder kimani hallelujah let me serve my god and leave me alone and serve your master serve the one who called you and he has given you your ability and my ability if your ability is not my ability hello respect my ability i serve my lord i serve my lord i'll be rewarded according to my deeds hallelujah you must remove the stone of ekolokirito hallelujah why praise and worship if you cannot come here and lead the worship appreciate them one time make lunch for them one time hallelujah ask them you are always nice with the fascinators how much do they cost bless them hallelujah am i talking to somebody is this a pentecostal church you cannot stand you cannot jump what is this that holds your legs and your mouth that you cannot say amen even to a gospel after resurrection when the things are being renewed hallelujah hallelujah how much more do you hold back by not realizing that jesus has risen When Jesus was being buried how many of us know that alikuwa amefungwa kitamba sijui na maguo but those who went and so they just found the the clothes there and hiyo kikofia kitaba hapo because i i i was asking myself kwani naye Yesu alifufuka uchi alifufuka bila guo but the glory the glory in Jesus he could not hold anything the glory in him he is not naked he is full of glory he is full of glory not even a cloth not even a head scarf not even anything can hold christ he could not be held by anything because the glory and the glorious god he is the one yesterday today and forevermore 
Hallelujah. Jesus has listened. That is situation that is very dead in your life. That is completely dead. That is a heavy stone that even a family of 10 people cannot remove. It takes your faith. And once you believe it has been removed, things start moving. And because we are free, we are free. We are free indeed. Things will happen. A prayer that you have said for the last 10 years. In this remembrance of the recent Christ, I am telling you, it will happen now. Na kama siyo sasa, ni sasa hivi. Hey, hallelujah. That is how, that is how strong it is to know that Jesus has listened. I do not know how many times you have ever enjoyed something. Those who are in employment, sometimes, we wait for the end of the year very much because there is a salary increment. Hallelujah. And we even start budgeting for late. Those who work hard and they are blessed, they get promotion. When you are reading a promotion letter, I am telling you that day, even if you don't have a coin, some of us borrow to go and give to God. The same spirit of giving. Where has this spirit gone to? Haven't you been given life? Imagine how hopeless it would be if Jesus did not rise. Hey, you know he had told the disciples, I am dying and I will come back. Jesus is listen. And I'm so sure the governors, those antichrists, they were very happy. They celebrated the first day. Karikufa. Munguawa Mededi. He's not coming back. The second day. Oh, they had, when they heard that he has listened, they were blaming the soldiers. Say that it is not true. Say it is not so. Say that is another man. No. And when these women, remember when they went to the disciples, the disciples, and Jesus had shared a lot of his life with the disciples. They said, it is like nonsense. They are saying, Mary Magdalene, hey, and Mother James, at Joan, they are saying that Jesus has listened. This is nonsense. Remember, Peter had to learn. Peter had to learn to confirm. And when he found that the tomb was empty, I am telling you, the power of resurrection will not leave any situation unchanged. And it is in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for sharing your resurrection message with us. How, Lord, I pray that if any of these people any of them has waited upon a dead situation, my father. I pray that these words come, my father, to trigger the resurrection of our prayer requests in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. We thank you, Esther, for giving us that word and telling us that there is assurance, hope in Jesus, knowing that when our situation seems to save, they stand, but when we once we trust in Jesus, he's going to make, he's going to make our, our situation rise again. We've come to the end of this uh, service. I who was leading is Grace Minor, and more to that I'm said, I'm going to, for benediction, I'm going to call Elder Kitonga to give us benediction. Ah, to sarimi ya nabona asifiwe. Ya, huyu wa menirefusha Kitonga. Badara ya Ndonga. Nisawa tu, yote ni yagu. Buwana asifiwe. Hatukai hapo kwa sababu ya resurrection. Buwana asifiwe. Hata mimi minejijaza. Good, thank you. Otherwise, God bless you. Uh, Esther, may the Lord continue to bless you as you continue to uh, preach the word of God. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to thank the, the, that district, phase Sector 3B in field B. To appear my coffee, Yes. 
I think hata ni fire tu tulikuwa tumepanga eh hiyo hiyo hotefa service tukiwaongeza hata hiyo ingine inakuja si ni sa wewe acha kuzama yes <laughs> Anyway, God bless you. Ashende tusimame tuseme grace. Haya shika mkono ya mwanzako. And then we say the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Let us appreciate our Christ this morning. Amen. Mambo sawa sawa Mambo sawa sawa Yesu akiwa enzini Mambo sawa sawa Mambo sawa sawa Mambo sawa sawa Mambo yote sawa Mambo sawa 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 Mambo sawa sawa Yesu akiwa enzini Mambo sawa sawa mambo sawa sawa mambo yote sawa mambo sawa 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 mambo sawa sawa Yesu akiwa ensini mambo sawa sawa mambo sawa sawa mambo sawa 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 sawa